I hope so. Uh, that's the direct answer. But perhaps uh, just to put some context into this, uh, we've, we've seen uh, this year uh, record-breaking uh, temperature. And there can be no doubt that uh, the parties uh, coming to COP28 needs to do everything uh, possible uh, to limit the global warming increase and keep the 1.5 uh, alive. Uh, our alliance is, uh, as you know, consistently uh, advocated for phasing out uh, of fossil uh, fuel subsidies. And we are focused on achieving an accelerated uh, just transition which will allow not only uh, SIDS, but all countries to utilize sustainable energy resources so that we can achieve uh, net zero by 2050. Now, clearly, the best available science has uh, demonstrated that to avoid the worst uh, impact of climate change, a crisis that is already as you know, ravaging our uh, vulnerable small island state. Um, and the world must make deep, rapid emission cuts. Uh, this is our uh, position. Our global goal of reaching net zero by 2050 must be backed up by credible, urgent action, especially from those who are responsible uh, for 80% of global uh, emission, uh, the G20, uh, for example. So phasing out fossil fuel and transitioning to renewable energy can decelerate this uh, precipitous uh, decline. And as SIDS collectively, you know, we contribute less than 1% uh, of the global emission. So we are looking uh, to the developed world who are responsible for 80% of global emission to lead uh, the way. Um, I think it's also uh, important uh, for us to, what we would say, uh, we must stop feeding uh, the beast. We incentivize uh, this industry and exorbitant uh, subsidies are given to fossil fuel companies, uh, while commitments that have been made with respect to finance uh, for climate uh, lay on the wayside. Uh, small island uh, states need to see uh, these financial flows being channeled away from filling the coffers of these companies to investment uh, in what we are convinced is important and that in te technologies uh, that would enable uh, just transitions in our countries. Even with global warming in our view, uh, limited to 1.5, as you know, SIDS will continue uh, to incur severe loss and damage. And, and this is another uh, important area for us. Uh, and exceeding, of course, this limit uh, will be catastrophic uh, for our uh, future survival. So IOSIS call on all major emitters to enhance their commitments, including aligning their national uh, contribution, determined contribution within the 1.5 degree goal, phasing out all inefficient fossil fuel subsidies and ensuring peaking of global emission before 2025 and then halving them by 2030, transitioning to global net zero emission by 2050 with those responsible for 80% of global emission taking the lead. 